Hey, everybody. Yes, we're here. Bob Lorenz, Ian Joy with you to talk a little baseball, Ian. Major League Baseball, the players come together. 60-game season, spring training, part two, starts July 1st. Games expected to start around July 23rd. And as soon as the news hit on Tuesday night, Ian, I thought about you because you've grown to love baseball over the last few years. And I wondered what your thoughts were when you heard the news. I've been waiting for a long time to do this, but seeing as though you're just breaking news, I'm going to do this just for you, Bob. I'm ready to go. You know, yeah. the game's back. And I know you're happy to see it back, but it was a great feeling for me to be able to go on my social media platforms and see such positivity. I mean, not only do I have a great following now with baseball, I also have like a lot of New Yorkers out there who are just so desperate to have their Yankees back and, to see that reaction makes me very happy. But my first thought was not necessarily just about the supporters or even the network. It was about you, Bob, because that must have been a beautiful feeling when that oh. news, that breaking news, the notification, your phone's binging, going off the charts, people are texting you. I mean, that must have yeah. been a special feeling for you. And now you know you're coming back. Yeah, first of all, the thing I love about this moment in time is the fact that you have a little bend in the cap, which I think is mandatory. That flat bill, it just drives me bananas. All right, let's move on. Now when I heard the news, here, here's what I thought immediately. I was so glad the game was back, that we're going to get to talk about it a lot more. Look, it was a struggle for both sides to get where they got going into the start of summer. But I, as a fan, I'm locking that up in a box and I'm forgetting about it. I want to think about some of the things that are going to happen this season. And Ian, the first thing I thought of was how exciting this season is going to be. It's not that 162-game marathon. It's a 60-game sprint. And how important is that? Let me give you an example. The Washington Nationals won the World Series last year. If you ended their season after 60 games, they wouldn't have even been in the playoffs. So that's how important that little sprint to the finish is going to be. That's exciting for baseball. Yeah, I mean, that's huge. And what's more important now is – is the training, the practice, the, to get yourself ready, physically yeah. fit, to make sure that you're not going to go into the season with an injury, to make sure that you're trying to get to 100% of your capacity as far as how well you can perform. There's no room for error with this, and that's what right. makes it so wonderful. I mean, it's been a creative mind, a creative process to get us to this point. And sometimes it doesn't matter what happened behind the scenes. The fact is we got here and these creative minds are rolling and what they're trying to do out there is put a, a tremendous product out so that everybody can enjoy and make sure that every single game that we're watching, every broadcast that we are doing means something. Yep. There's something on the line. You cannot afford to make mistakes. You cannot afford to go on a losing run. You got to make sure you're ready 100% fit rocking and rolling because this is where it matters most it's like playing a cup final if i'm yeah. to use a soccer term every game is a cup final yeah it feels like that like every game will be a playoff game the importance is there and by the way for yes we love to bring that to our viewers it's going to be uh, a great time covering all of this now one yeah. thing that stands out to me you mentioned got to be careful injuries the players to their credit have done a good job staying in shape since spring training in march but let's talk about the impact on the yankees we remember the Roster was decimated by injuries last year. 30 players on the injured list. This year, James Paxton, Aaron Hicks, Giancarlo Stanton might not even have started the season. At least two of them, Stanton may have. They're all healthy. They're all going to be able to play for the 60-game sprint. They're hopeful Aaron Judge will be too. That's a big advantage for the Yankees, having those guys back. That is a huge advantage. And how wonderful it is for those players who thought that they were going to miss the majority of a season or half a season or even in the opening games. I mean, that hurts a lot of players. They want to play every single game. They don't want to miss games. Injuries is sometimes the worst part of sports. But the fact that this has happened and has given them an opportunity to help is quite incredible. Now we're going to see the best players out there. Now we're going to see the teams at full strength or almost full strength going into game one. That's what I want to see. But I'm intrigued, Bob. I mean, some of the rules, the regulation, the scheduling, the yeah. travel schedule, it all helps the players as well. That to me is a massive benefit. And it's all linked and tuned in to make sure that we get the best product out there. And I think everyone's got so much to look forward to, but there must've been one or two rules that came out there or even the scheduling or regulations, yeah. something must've caught your attention. Yeah. So we're waiting for the official schedule to come out, see what it looks like. I do like 
add to the excitement stew, I'm going to sprinkle a little something else in there. The fact that 40 of the 60 games are against division rivals. So for the Yankees against the American League East, that's exciting. Huge chunk of the schedule. I'm intrigued to see some of the other new rules come into effect, specifically only for this year in extra inning games, they have that runner start on second base. Now they employed it in the minor leagues, but by and large, America hasn't seen it up close. For one season, I know it's new, it's different, it seems like it's messing with the tradition of baseball. I'm kind of excited to see what happens. It might bring different strategy into play. Well, now's the moment to try it, right? If that's been an idea before, and I'm sure a lot of people have thought about it, I think it's the time to put it out there. And it's not as if we haven't seen rule changes recently over recent years. We have seen rule changes recently, which have helped improve the game. And, and certainly for safety measures, I think now's the time to implement those ideas. So, you know, that's another thing that comes to my attention, that this health and safety protocols, looking after players. You know, baseball is such a sport where you're united with your teammates. You know, what you do in the dugout, the celebrations, those high fives, those hugs, the cool, awesome times that you have. I mean that's going to change a little bit as well. It's going to be unusual for the players there. Um, And of course you have uh, some, some rules that caught my attention. No spitting, absolutely no fighting. And I'm just thinking there's no way that's happening. Like we're definitely getting a fight and it's very difficult (laughs) to stop any athlete from spitting out there on the field. I mean, some crazy rules, but I'm loving the fact that they're getting pretty creative with these ideas. And, you know, I think we're going to see a great game come back here. And people are going to be excited to see it. It's not going to be like it was. It's no. going to be different. But it's going to be a great feeling. All right. So I wonder if they come up with new phantom celebrations. They can't really fist bump. They can't make contact. So, again, here comes the creative part. What are they going to do? But also, to your point, Ian, what we're going to see is the active players, coaches, et cetera, personnel in the dugout. But other than that, non-active players and personnel, they'll be social distancing in the stands. So you want to talk about a different look and feel to the game, regardless of the fact that there aren't fans there, at least to start the season. That's going to be interesting as well to see what those players and personnel are doing. Yeah, non-active players and personnel will also have to wear the mask. So that's going to be something that people are going to have to get used to. But again, it goes back to it. This is a different time that we're in right now. You know, many times throughout the last couple of months, we thought baseball was never going to have a chance of coming back. It's got a real chance now. We're getting closer and closer. We're not there over the finish line, but this feeling right now, this breaking news, the notifications that ping on your phone that get that excitement going is a feeling we've been waiting for for a very long time. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for our crew. I'm so happy for the network because when I see the network running and sports are going, everybody's at their happiest. And that's what I want to see. I'm excited to be back in the mix with you guys as well. And this is one step in a great direction. Yeah, you know, you mentioned it. It it suddenly puts a timetable on what we're doing. We, We sort of felt like you and I getting together a few times every week, how enjoyable that is. And it will continue to be, but we'll be able to do it in person. I thought immediately, okay, great. I know that in a month, most likely, I'll be in the studio. There'll be other guys with me. We'll we incorporate them in. We'll incorporate you in. That's exciting to me as a broadcaster, knowing that we're going to have that interaction again. And the quality of work that I feel we do it, yes, we get to share that with our viewers. And that's exciting to me, knowing that in a month's time, we're going to be able to do that. Absolutely. And, and the feeling that the fans have right now, the viewers have, that they're getting their baseball back is the same feeling we have that we're getting our Yes Network family back together again. That's going to be an awesome feeling. But this is going to be an unbelievable period of time for sports television. There is going to be sports rammed down your throat. For so long, you've been sitting at home waiting and crying. Now's the time. It's coming your way, whether you like it or not. And it's going to go quickly as well, because there's going to be sports every single day for us. All I can say is let's flood the zone on the Yes Network with broadcasting sports, live sports. Let's go, Ian. (laughs) Stay! 